Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome to our channel. Now, Rod and I are between Disney trips, and that puts me somewhere in the midst of thinking of warm, magical memories from the last trip to crazy Disney planning for the next trip. And about a month ago, I decided with all of this happening, I needed a new hobby. Now, with Disney on my mind completely, that new hobby, of course, was going to be Disney-inspired. What I didn't expect, though, was how innocent it seemed when I picked up the Disney pins I already own and looked at them in a new light. Yes, I have decided that I'm going to go full-blown Disney pin collecting and trading. Now, Disney is huge for their pin collecting. If you've ever been in any of their stores and their parks, there's pins everywhere and they're just so cute. They're little pieces of memorabilia that you can have. They're for your favorite characters, your favorite act. Uh, attractions, your favorite lands, your favorite parks, anything that you can think of. And yes, I have decided to jump right in along with everyone else. So with this newfound excitement for my Disney pins, uh, we went out and searched for some new ones. We went to our local Disney store, no pins. We even went to our Disney outlet store, still no pins. We did manage to find some though at the local mall. You can find some Disney pins at uh, stores like Box Lunch or Hot Topic. And we did manage to find some there, like I said, but still not many pins. So with this newfound obsession that I have with this Disney pin collecting and wanting to find pins, what's a girl supposed to do? Well, fortunately, a few weeks ago, I found a Facebook group that was holding a pin sale and I participated in it and I am proud to announce I have my first pin mail. So let's see what I managed to get. So what's nice about doing a pin sale is that oftentimes you can find pins a little less expensive than you can out there, but they are still authentic pins, which I know this person is because I did my research ahead of time. And I'll list down below who I went through. So when I'm first opening this pack, there's all kinds of fun things in here. Oh, she wrapped me in a California Adventure Park map, so that's pretty fun. Ah oh, yes, the days I used to go to California Adventure all the time. We live too far from Disney now to do that, but someday soon, maybe we'll be back. So let's go through here and see what I have. Oh, she also have a, has a card in here, you know, talking about how you can get a hold of her. So my first pin that I purchased was, and I love these, was, it's a set, and it's Oswald and Hortensia. Look how cute they are. Now, I got this because I'm very interested in um, just where it all started. And number one, they're black and white, which I have an obsession with. The first pin I ever owned was a black and white Minnie Mouse, and I carried it on my camera strap for years. But uh, Hortensia and Oswald is kind of where things started out. And uh, they're just pretty cute, and they're, I don't know, I always look at it like it's me and Rod together. So we can See what else I got. I think I got 10 pins. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. Okay, so I have never been a collector of Tsum Tsums, but they've become like this big thing and I'm just becoming a little more obsessed with them. I like how cute they are. And they have a set of Disney pins made in these Tsum Tsum kind of characters. And this is Mr. Smee from Peter Pan. And I don't know, I had to have him. I have this like affection for Mr. Smee. He's just so cute. And this pin is just really kind of nice. It's a uh, silver based and um, he's just cute with his little hat on. Mr. Smee. Um, this next pin is probably what started this obsession with this uh, Disney pin sale because the minute I saw this pin, I had to have it. There is a mystery pack out there, and I have yet to open a mystery pack. Hopefully we'll change that soon. I've yet to open a mystery pack, but there's one out there called Kingdom of Cute, and it has all these uh, like kawaii character, they're not really characters, they're just attraction pieces, but they have little faces on them, so they're that kawaii mode. And um, I have this love for Adventureland, and the Jungle Cruise, and the Enchanted Tiki Room, and I really just had to have this Jungle Cruiser from the Kingdom of Cute Mystery Pack. I have not opened a mystery pack, but I do have my Jungle Cruiser now, so I'm very, very happy. I mean, seriously, 
look at that. What I like about this pin is, you know, they've changed the Jungle Cruise boats in, in, in recent years, but um, this is like an original boat that they used to have from what I remember when I was young and um, with the uh, striped awning on the top. So they're just very cute. I just love this. I just love this pin so much. It'll be like my favorite. I think this is my new collection, Jungle Cruise. Not bad collection. Cause, oh, well, speaking of Jungle Cruise, since I got two pins, so I think my mind was in one mode at the time, is I also uh, purchased this uh, Jungle, Cru Jungle Cruise boat pin that has Mickey and Goofy with the uh, hippopotamus coming at him. And again, it's that old style retro boat that I remember from when I was young. Love this pin too. It's a little story, just tells a little story. It'll be like really nice on my board with the other pins that I have. So let's see, my next pin, it's like little prizes in every little bag. Now, okay, this seems might seem rather odd, but I had to have this too because I am obsessed with Hey Hey from Moana. Now, the Hey Hey comes from the Moana booster pack. And um, I don't know, I think there's like six pins in there, but hey, hey, it really is all that. So I needed to have a piece of hey, hey in my life. Look how cute he is. These pins are so cute. I can see this is gonna be a dangerous thing. Oh, here's another set. I'm just kind of picking them out random which ones I have. This is another uh, double set I got. And I got this piece because I think of my husband all the time. I just love Minnie and Mickey Mouse. And this is a dual set. And so there's two pins and it's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and they're sending each other love letters. And you know, my husband and I, we used to do that when we first met. We used to send each other love letters only through the internet. Um, you know, people don't write letters anymore. But uh, it just reminded me of us, and Minnie and Mickey always have a warm place in my heart. And always reminds me of me and my husband, so I really love this little, these little pins too. So that'll be nice to add to my collection. Oh, speaking of the Jungle Cruise, I actually, Adventureland is my totally my favorite land. It always has been. And um, while I love the Jungle Cruise right now so much, it's like really one of my favorite rides. My other favorite attraction is the Enchanted Tiki Room. And so there is a Tsum Tsum pack out there. It's a booster, it's a booster pack for the Enchanted Tiki Room actually. And this is a Tsum Tsum, again, another one. And this is one of the, this is the showgirl bird from Enchanted Tiki Room. Now, when I was 12, I went to the Tiki Room. I wanted to live in the Tiki Room. I thought that place was just all that. My entire, and, and you know what? That was one of those pivotal moments in my life because it has, it has changed me. <laughs> From then till now, because I have this like great fondness of anything tiki-like in my life, and I, in fact, I love the the Disney's 60s, 70s styling of what they thought Hawaii was. So anything that's like that, I love it. I just need to have it. So this showgirl uh, is really nice. But when I was 12 and I went to the tiki room, I wanted to live there. And uh, abruptly when I came back home, I started collecting these little, I don't know, they must have been like plastic or paper mache birds on, um, on, on their little like hangers. And I would hang them from my ceiling in my room. And I literally thought I was living in the tiki room. And if I think back now, re realistically, I think I only had three of them hanging in my ceiling. So that must not look like what I thought it did, but I really honestly thought I was living in the tiki room. So that bird has a bit special place there in my heart. There is another one from the booster set, the Tiki Room set that I got as well too. And this is another uh, this is another bird. And this is the Barker bird that uh, used to be in front of the Tiki, the Enchanted Tiki Room. He used to uh, call out to people and say, hey, come to the Tiki Room. But they had to stop that because uh, it would stop, it would cause too much um, traffic in that area. So they had to stop him. But this is Barker bird from the Tiki Room. Yeah, anything birds, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with. And you know what? He's really super cute with his little bow tie, his little bow tie in his hat. Super cute, right? How could you not love him? Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. I think I have two more left. This pin is another pin. Oh my gosh, these guys are so funny. This is another pin from the Moana booster set, and these. I don't even know. Do I have it on right? Head upside down. These are the, the coconut pirates. <laughs> I think they are called Kakamoras. They're the coconut pirates. 
They're running around. I mean, let's seriously look at them. They're so funny. They're just hanging out. Them and Hey Hey. You know, they have this whole Moana set, and all I want is Hey Hey and the Coconut Pirates. So that's pretty much what my set's gonna look. My collection's gonna look like. But look, they're so cute. They're so fun. And the last pin I got in this set, which will help actually start my set. Because you know you can't start a set if you don't have any pins. And when you decide you want to collect pins, you just need pins. Is, you just need pins. So, you know. The last one, I absolutely love this character. It is one of my favorite characters. Especially, well, it's more so in recent Disney films. But And he's another Tsum Tsum. He comes from one of those Tsum Tsum mystery packs. Which one of these days I'm going to be opening a mystery pack. Tell me. Uh, that looks like fun. But it is Remy from... Ratatouille and I love to cook and bake and um, I love Remy because he's just awesome and look at him with his little chef hat I think we all need to wear a chef hat sometime in our life so there's that so these are my fun little pins that I just got now none of them were really a mystery to me but um, I did pick them out but I was able to pick ones that I really wanted to start my collection I know they're real pins I, I purchased from a person that I know um, is uh, selling authentic pins from Disney. Apparently that's a thing. But um, I'm super excited to start this endeavor and I do have to tell you, uh, you know, they're like little, they're like little friends. They're also very cute. Like, I don't even know, like these, these birds, look at that bird. And Mr. Smee, super cute, right? I don't even know. I've got Hey Hey and, but I really have to tell you, I think my favorite in this entire pack only because I needed to have this pin so badly I couldn't stand it is this this is just me oh, this says everything about me and Disney is this cute Jungle Cruise boat from the Jungle Cruise from the Kingdom of Cute mystery packs which I don't even know if they sell those anymore because you can't find them anywhere and I am nowhere near Disney Park right now so my obsession at least is satisfied to a degree because I have this anyway so thank you for uh, spending some time with me and maybe getting to little, know a little bit about me and, and some of my uh, obsessions that I might be having and um, hope to uh, see you around here again real soon and uh, hope you have a magical day.